When Australians vote on August 21, they know that Tony Abbott is the most right-wing politician to ever put himself forward as Prime Minister of this country. Tony Abbott established the ABCC, which treats construction workers as having less rights than other Australians. Tony Abbott is proud of the laws which see construction worker Ark Tribe facing six months imprisonment for standing up for his rights at work. With Abbott in charge now, it'll be a step back in time and just restricting us in, in what we can do. Mate, any, any thinking person that's been around building sites for a while would know what Abbott represents. You'd have to shy away from him. I mean, he's the one that introduced the ABCC. Lots of people believed that a Labor had stopped listening to ordinary working people. Julia Gillard has got a chance to come back and win the true believers back to Labor. The union's been critical of Labor because we don't think they've done enough to scrap the ABCC. They've now got legislation in the parliament to abolish the ABCC, but we think they need to go further. Tony Abbott would scrap the Building the Education Revolution program, which has created thousands of jobs for construction workers during one of the world's biggest economic downturns. We can't trust Tony Abbott on work choices. He has said in the past that work choices was good for workers and the Howard government's proudest achievement. Now he's telling us he doesn't support work choices anymore. A vote for Abbott is a vote for work choices. A vote for Tony Abbott is a vote for work choices and if any worker wants to go back to work choices he's got to have rocks in his head. On August the 21st Australians will make a choice. It'll be Tony Abbott or it'll be Julia Gillard. If you vote for Abbott, you're voting for a return to work choices and you're voting for less jobs in the construction industry. If you vote for Gillard, you're voting that we've got a chance to get back to fairness in the workplace and one law for all in the construction industry.